Hey folks, pleasantly cool evening. Temperatures in the 60s right now, but overnight we don't go much of anywhere. We stay in the 60s overnight. These are your forecast lows. Of course, the island holding at 72, a little more mild than everybody else. About 64 for low in Raymondville. Same thing, Westlake, Brownsville should bottom out around 66 degrees. Then tomorrow we warm back up back up into the upper 80s, about six, seven, eight degrees above average for this time of year. We'll have another day like that on Friday, but then we'll be way below average as we head into and through the weekend. A lot of sunshine tomorrow. Future track, we're using the high resolution model now, goes out about 48 hours, and it suggests that we see patchy fog tonight. Then during the daytime tomorrow, mostly sunny skies. Southeast wind will bring a little bit of moisture in, so there may be a few patchy clouds around, but sunshine will dominate. That southeasterly wind may be a little gusty during the afternoon as well. Tomorrow night should be quiet, and then Friday things get a little more interesting. We start the day with partly cloudy skies. Isolated showers show up as early as midday or so, especially along the coast. Then we see the front coming in. It looks like it may come in, uh, in between 7 and 10 p.m. on Friday. At least it looks like that at this point. If that's the case, you may see some rain, even a couple of thunderstorms during football time. So keep an eye on this forecast for the next day or two if you're going to one of the games Friday night because you may have to deal with a little bit of rain. Behind that, though, we should dry out pretty quickly. Saturday may have clouds early, but sunshine in the afternoon with cooler temperatures. Here's our long range European model. High pressure at the surface is moving away, so the southeast wind picks up, making today, tomorrow, Friday all very warm. Friday, in fact, ahead of the front, it could be 90 or above in at least parts of the valley. The front's in Texas on Friday, triggering showers to the north of us and maybe a couple down here during the daytime, but the better chance comes when that front comes through during the evening hours. And then again, clouds may linger into early Saturday, but by afternoon, it's just mostly sunny and rather chilly. And then Saturday night, it's even colder. And then Sunday, we bounce back to the low 70s, but sunshine will dominate. Cool conditions will last into the early part of Monday, but then we start a warming trend again because I know the front's making its way toward Texas. So by Monday, Tuesday, the southeast wind will kick in. That'll warm us up again. And then late Wednesday into Thursday, the next front comes in. Doesn't look as cold as the one coming in Friday night, but it will cool things off a little bit once again. Best chance of rain is late tomorrow, about a 50% probability, could, or Friday rather, could be a thunderstorm. An early shower pre-dawn Saturday. I don't think there'll be any rain in the daytime at all. Then we go back to 20% with the next front next Wednesday. Look at the drop in the temperature. We go from 87 Friday to 64 on Saturday, and then climb back up to 80 again by Monday. Talk about quick change artists. The weather doing some quick changes in the valley the next few days. Traveling tomorrow, 60 in San Antonio to start the day. Same thing in Dallas. Amarillo starts at 55. By afternoon, most of the state recovers into the 70s and the 80s. So for us tonight, about 64 for a low. Watch out for patchy fog later on. Then tomorrow, back up to 87 degrees. A lot of sunshine, a little breezy, especially during the afternoon. There's that big drop in temperatures. Front goes through, triggers a shower, thunderstorm. Clouds early on Saturday, sunshine in the afternoon. Only 64 Sunday morning, 44. We haven't been that cold since March 21st. Bounce back to 72 in the afternoon, back to 80 for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. That's your updated First One Five forecast. We'll be right back.